Hey guys, I know this is not the normal intro, but we forgot to do one. So, I'm in lockdown, and this is the best I can come up with. Today, on Drift My Ride, we have Stuart's RX-8. And it's rubbish, but he's quite good fun. Hey Stuart. Hello Craig. You're back. Yeah I am. So this is your second uh, subjection to sitting with me in a car and yeah. talking. Yeah, I must like you. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> so what have you brought us this time? Took you an RX-8 and it's the bigger engine, so it's the 231. So that yeah. number, does is that number equate to size or does that... You're asking far too many questions That's now. too much <laughs> detail. Why did you decide to build this? Uh, well, one of my sponsors, he bought this from one of my other sponsors that paints the BMW and they kind of passed it around and then the engine was dud on this one. So then he just said to me, do you, do you want an RX-8? And I said, oh, why not? I have yeah. no clue about them, <laughs> but I'll take it. <laughs> so yeah, then I bought that. And then Stuart Cowie from Pro 307 on YouTube, yeah. he had an engine, he had cut hubs. Uh, and then he had suspension, he had this hydro and stuff that I modified a little bit, so. Engine wise, have you had to do anything to it? Engine's it? just really uh, eBay manifold and it's got just a custom uh, induction thing on it. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. It's just got a straight through exhaust to a, a repackable silencer at the back. Yeah. It's just like a rally. So shit. pretty standard pretty spec. Standard, just like, yeah, yeah. Nothing remapped or anything. I would like to remap it, but I don't want to spend any more money on it. Have you had any issues with it? <laughs> well, first of all, like, life. Oh, <laughs> how long have we got? So we went to Crail and I left the breather pipe off. I like threw that in the bin. Yeah. Cause I, I don't need it, but rotaries supposedly breathe quite heavy. Uh, so then I had oil went everywhere and I didn't have this gator on. So that like the smoke came in here. So then when you like I accidentally like spun and you went off at Crail. Like I could hardly see because there was so much like fumes. So that was the main problem. And then because I put the lock kit on it and I got rack spacers and Jap speed tie rod ends and stuff from Driftworks. Um, like now the steering doesn't like it because it's electric steering. So right. So the electric steering doesn't. It doesn't like, like the extra extent. lock. I yeah. think when you go to standard and then you go a bit more, it just gets confused and it's like shuts it off. Okay. It's fine driving it shut off, so. Yeah. Electric steering is uh, Electric a little bit of an issue. Yeah. The engine's slightly temperamental yeah, then? Yeah, like, see when the battery goes flat, then uh, you end up getting the OMP come on, and I didn't know what an OMP was, and uh -huh. it's an oil metering pump that pumps oil into the rotors. Okay. So when the battery goes flat, then it confuses that, and then when you try and do it, it's in limp mode. So mm -hmm. then you have to reset that, and there's a lot of stuff that I had to figure out about so rotary. It's a very different car to own yeah, than, yeah, than something much. like uh, anything that's non-rotary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Suspension-wise, what have you Suspension, done to it? Suspension, it's just that teen stuff. Uh -huh. um, the bad thing about that is it's not adjustable on the dampening. Okay. So it's a little bit soft in the front, so if you dive it in hard, it normally scrubs and okay. stuff like that. But it's okay, it's okay. And you run 18s in the rear? 18s in the front, 18s in the back, yeah. so they're quite big. And the pressures are pretty... 70 or something <laughs> 70 on the back, and 30 in the front, normal in the front. <laughs> normal in the front, yeah. grip in the front, none in the yeah. rear. That's what it needs, it's got no torque. <laughs> no torque whatsoever. So, so, and it revs all the way. To nine, I think it is. Nine yeah. grand. Yeah, you need to keep it between five and six and above. Uh -huh. If you go any below that, then it just wants to straighten and it's just like, you can't get out of the corner. Yeah. So then you need to just keep kicking the clutch. And you've got a slightly different hydro setup. You're on a rear mount thing. Yeah. So this was originally a normal hydro, but then I like cut it and blah, blah, blah. Cause I couldn't, I couldn't put the hydro here yeah. and I couldn't put it here. It was too far away. So I thought, oh, I'll just try this out That's yeah so this just way makes it. that you can get the you can yeah, get the whole you can get the, the handle in there, the right yeah because obviously the seats you know how close yeah, it is yeah. there there's no room and when this is down you can't get to it so. yeah and it's really handy actually having a normal handbrake as yeah. well yeah. you park the car <laughs> on slope it. and not worry about it not being yeah. there when you come yeah. back <laughs> so how do you find it like as a as a drift car is it a it's hard uh -huh. i wouldn't say a learner should buy this uh -huh. because it's 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 hard it's like an mx5 it's hard to get drift in but i would say 
if you're going to spend a thousand pounds just get a bmw and then later on you can get an rx8 or something yeah but the, the three main problems with this is this gearbox this six speed it's like as soon as you're up at nine thousand you try and change the third it's just like the synchro is not quick enough it doesn't go in and this is the second one i've had and they're both the same mm -hmm. uh, and then the other problem is the the engine's not the most reliable it's it is and it isn't it just goes in limp mode so easy yeah you know and obviously the electric steering's you know that's something i would like to change because it feels okay but it's not yeah just the not issues perfect, with it. Yeah. that's the other so, thing about this yeah. it's not it's, it's not as clean as you would get on a bmw you would find the same the, age yeah, yeah. and you can find so many parts for a bmw compared yeah. to this it's harder to find and it's more expensive for bushes and everything like uh -huh. the e36 compact it's like 90 pounds or something for the whole poly bush kit it's yeah. like but this you would maybe get two bushes for that so the last thing we need to suppose mention is you've got it's got huge, Wang. It's got Wang yeah, in the back. Yeah, or Wang Solo. <laughs> Wang Solo. So what is the story with that? Is that, that was just that's uh, like got your your spot. It's got your logo on it. Yeah, it's got the logo on it. It was just a little project me and Callum Hayes Fabrication did. Um, he sponsors my BMW, and we just thought it'd be a bit fun to put a big Wang. You know, we can't call it a wing. It's a big Wang, big gay wing. So um, yeah, just made it as cheaply as we could. I bought that carbon fiber wing for like 50 quid off a mate chow so yeah and then we just made the end plates and fabricated made the rest up yeah made it as cheap as possible just to make it look different yeah right so, yeah let's get going let's go and see what she's like <laughs> Is this the most rubbish car we've ever had on Drift My Ride? It's getting there. <laughs> Bloody close. So the RX-8 has been heavily set back by turning it off and then turning it back on again. What are you doing down there? Oh me. Oh. Just had a misfire on one of the cylinders. Yeah. It was flooded. Is the spark plug basically in the engine mount? Pretty much. Oh yeah. god. Four of them. Oh god. I'll lead them in a trailer mode. Is it going to work? Uh, I hope so. Help me too. Uh, Craig, is it working again? It's just. Just about. Do you have any faith in it working for a long time? No. no. Are we going to turn it off anytime no. soon? No, we definitely not. No. Oh, here we are. <laughs> are you all happy? It's all revs now. Don't turn it off. No, I'm no. not going to okay. turn it off. Right. We just, we just go for it. We've got one chance. Quick before it blows up! Second gear, give it everything. Yeah. Don't go below 5,000. And don't stall it because it might don't not stall. start nah, again. I'll be okay now. Right, oh, didn't stall. Good start. <laughs> Steering's quite heavy, yeah. yeah. That gear sticks miles away. Bloody hell, you're what do you call it? Well, that hydro's like solid as a rock, yeah, yeah, isn't it? It's good, like. Yeah, it's really good. I wasn't expecting it to be that solid. Now. Just get it set gear and go. Forget about third. Third is Give it, it, it everything. All of it. That's it. It keeps revving, doesn't it? Yeah, keep going, keep going. Don't let it die. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. That's it, that's it, that's it. Keep it going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. 
This is absolutely crap. Oh, the only reason it worked is because the tires completely disintegrated and then there was no grip whatsoever. So we'd actually spin them. Oh, look at the smoke though. I made some smoke. I don't know if all that is coming from the tires. It is, you can smell it. It's is tires. it? Is it tire? No, mm. too strong. <laughs> Oh, Thanks, man. Thanks, man. No worries, Cheers. man. That was funny. I, know, I, I thought you would like it. I, I did. You, you think I do? You think Chef should buy it now? You should buy I it. I should definitely should buy, buy this. I'm not fucking buying this car. <laughs> One of the great cars, eh? Ah, oh, it's just awful. <laughs> <laughs> the steering broke. So, well, with no power steering, no. I've never had to drive something with no power steering. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I can see the sweat glistening off your noble brow. <sighs> My chrome dome is definitely glistening. <laughs> the solar panel is on. <laughs> <laughs> so the good thing about an RX-8 is when you're standing outside and looking at it. Anything else? Nope. If your only option is an RX-8 drift car. <laughs> Save some money and buy something else. It's broken down on multiple occasions within the space of half an hour. Would you have another? I'd have a shot in somebody else's if they want to give me one, but I will never spend any of my own coin on one of these. There's no other way to put this but shitbox. box.